Hey Heights 8th graders, I just want to take a chance and just say how proud of you all I am and it really was a blast working with you all during 6th and 7th grade and even though this year didn't end exactly how everybody wanted it to, um, we hope that you have the best time and good luck in your future endeavors and we'll see you around again. Hopefully you all are doing high school band next year and we'll be able to see you some more. Bye guys, congrats.
really recording you. Yeah, okay. grade band congratulations you made it you're finally in high school oh how I wish I were saying those things to you in person at your spring band concert but life has dealt us a different hand during the time we've been at home I have found myself spending a lot of time reflecting on the time I have shared with you and all of my students through this unprecedented time I have been so impressed by the strength tenacity and maturity of my students past and current. You are all so special and I have learned so much from you. As you head into high school, I hope that you move forward with confidence and find the drive to make good things happen for yourselves. In the moments when you don't know what to do, remember that band is a family and we are all here to support you. When you started band in sixth grade, you became a part of something very special and I can't wait to see you grow in high school over the next four years. Congratulations on completing your journey through middle school and have a great summer.
It is the 2019-2020 edition of the Pride of Pattonville Marching Band. Under the field direction of drum majors Kyle Beaver, Kira Correa, and Allie Kiefer. Joining the band on the field are members of the color guard, directly directed by Phil Garage. The varsity drill team under the direction of Grace Burgo. And the varsity cheerleader, or led by Kelly Hunt. Fans, let's also give a warm welcome to the 8th grade band members of Bowman Middle School, Pettenville Heights Middle School, yeah. and Remington Traditional. Pettenville's 8th grade band directors are Abby Hall, Adam Hall, Liz Case, Andrew Smith, and Steve White. Hey, eighth grade band. I just wanted to say how proud I am of everything that you have accomplished this year. I know it feels like we were robbed of some of our great ending moments, but when I think back over the year, all I can feel is joy and pride in everything that we did together. The elementary school tour day was one of my favorite days of this year. You represented yourselves, our school, so well, and you played great. Eighth grade marching band night was so fun, and I saw the light in some of your eyes thinking, wow, you can't wait to do this, and I can't wait to watch you do it this coming year. So, even though the year didn't end exactly how we planned, I am so proud of you, we are going to miss you very much. Please stay in touch and keep us posted on everything you're doing in high school.
here we are, you guys. It seems like just yesterday we were teaching you how to open up your instrument cases the right side up. And here it is, the end of your eighth grade year. You're about to graduate from middle school. And next year, you will be freshman in high school. It's hard to believe. You know, I'm, I'm so very proud of you guys for your musicianship, but also just for your growth as good human beings. You know, you're all unique. You all have individual personalities. You all have special gifts. And it has been my privilege over these last three years to really get to know you and, and just to be a part of your lives. You know, I think I know you guys well enough that I could probably predict what would have happened if we had had the chance to go to Chicago. Okay, just picture it. The clarinets would have required medical attention after our performance because Miss Pace had told them to use all the air they possibly could so that the judges would hear them. The percussion section would be kicked out of the Blue Man Group performance because they would sneak up on stage and play the Blue Man Group instruments. You know, Kyle would mysteriously disappear from the hotel, never to be seen nor heard from again. And while his own section would take the blame for it, Mia and Dakota and Melissa were the last students to see him. While the band was visiting the Lincoln Park Zoo, the tenor saxophones let the flamingos out of their enclosure. Why did they let the flamingos out of their enclosure? Because they could. The flutes would finally get fed up with Mr. Smith and throw him into Lake Michigan. Which section in our band would calmly watch this happen with a sense of amusement but no moral obligation to stop the event? The French horns. Which section would stay up too late in the hotel, drinking Mountain Dew, bouncing on their beds, to the point where Miss Hall would get a 3 a.m. phone call from the front desk? The low brass section. Except for the tubas, they went to bed early so that they could get up in the morning and practice. Because how else do you think they got to be so stinking good? And of course, you guys, which section is it that got lost in downtown Chicago because they were talking and not listening to Miss Hall give the directions for where we were going to meet up later? The trumpets, except for Emily, who tried to tell them, but they wouldn't listen to her. So I say all those things in jest. I've, I've really had a, a fun three years with you guys, and I'm really going to miss you. Um... I want you guys to know that you have a specialized skill that not everybody has. It really differentiates you from other people. You can read music. You can listen to a piece of music and understand all the different things that had to happen to make that piece of music what it is. Not everybody has that ear to listen uh, to music. You guys know when you hear it, all of the different parts that, that had to come together to create the whole. And you have learned what it means to be part of something bigger than yourselves. How to offer up what's best about you to the group to make it stronger. And you understand that sometimes it's you in the spotlight. It's you that has to be solid and work hard to make the group stronger. But you also know when it's time for you to be a support to others for the good of the whole. And these are life skills that not everybody of your age has, has had. Um, you will take these experiences that you've had in your band, your three years of band here at Heights, and you will apply those to all aspects of your life. So I want to thank you for all that you've contributed to our band. I want to thank you for what you've taught me over these three years. And all the laughs we've had together, it's, it's been a blast. And I really look forward to seeing what you guys are going to do in high school, all of the amazing things that, that you are going to do.
Have a great summer, you guys. Congratulations. Thank you.